Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back today for another Alliance War video. Today we have War Number Nine uh, of Season Twenty Eight, the season without tactics. And in this one, we are facing off against one of our rival alliances. I like to call them uh, New Nation. Um, we they they usually beat us, so we've had some really close matches against them, though. So hoping to flow out the victory today. Up first, we're on path number three, and we got an Annihilus. Gonna be going in here with Magneto, as we have. Look at these metal. This war, though, is all about quality over quantity. You know, lately, so far in the season, I've, I've been getting a ton of fights, usually like 8, 9, 10 in a war, which is fine. Like, I, I I enjoy having a lot of fights. I don't care. I, I It doesn't matter to me how many I have. It really doesn't. I'm down for whatever. Um, but in today's war, you know, it's only four fights. However, the four fights mainly the final fight uh tater said when he was doing his planning that uh it was the hardest fight on the map so and it looks 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 so scary getting up to it so definitely worry about that uh but yeah we'll get, we'll talk about that a little bit more once we get there uh, against this annihilus you know it's it's going pretty well um we have a 50 percent chance to perfect block uh so yeah the block damage is so minimal and when we do take block damage, he's applying debuffs to us, which are giving us willpower. I was trying to not push him to special two in fear of block damage, but he wasn't throwing it. So I said, screw it, push him to special two. And he literally like tickled my block. Uh, like that was supposed to be an attack because that literally like tickled. Uh, so yeah, get to my special three, double up the prowess. A couple of them fell off, unfortunately. I, I assumed that this was just gonna kill. Doesn't quite kill, uh, but we get some nice shrapnel bleeds going, so that's great. Go for one more heavy attack afterwards, and that dude is just dead. And we will power it healed back to a full yellow bar. So, yeah, pretty good start uh, to the war. Uh, I definitely joined a, a little bit late. As you can see, we're already well in this section too. Probably because I woke up late, I assume. Uh, this was a little while ago. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be moving on to... Path number two now in section two, and we're doubling up on this path. I think it was with Bryn, uh, one of the best players in our alliance. And yeah, we have a Kingpin here. So we're going to be using Apocalypse for this. I think, am I throwing on a mutant boost or an advanced power boost? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just because this, this one, in section one, it's if you don't follow the right combos and you lose charge and stuff, the enemy gains Furies. Here, instead, you get power suppressions, um, which are kind of weird, but if they stack up, you'll eventually start getting like negative uh, power, like your power will slowly start draining. So yeah, I just want to start with this uh, special two, but I can't get there realistically with that uh, power start one boost. Fortunately, uh, this guy is not a mutant, and we don't have cable or anything on our team, so we only have uh, one charge that you start with. So uh, we only have one prowess in turn, because your prowesses are based off how many charges you have. So our damage output is uh, not spectacular, but uh, that's okay. It's just going to make for a bit of a, a slower fight. Just you know, It's just a kingpin. You know, kingpin is not very hard to fight. Uh, but as you can see, I'm starting to get those suppressions. I already have three on me, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, trying to manage my power to get all the way to a, a bar with the specific combos, but it's once you once those suppressions start stacking up, it, it just gets harder and harder. So yeah, it looks like this fight's just going to be a brawl for for the rest of the way. No more uh, special attacks from me, uh, most likely. That's fine though, he's almost dead. With Apocalypse Kingpin can't shrug off our debuffs. So it makes that's that's why I gotta sign Apocalypse for this. Uh, which is nice, you know, definitely a nice when Kingpin you can parry him. Uh, so here I decide to just kinda go for it. Uh, I thought I'd get to my special, but I didn't. I pushed him to special three. Um, but I didn't panic. I'll just like hopefully he tries to like hit me again and he did, so I parried him. So <laughs> I, there's no way, there's no shot I would have died to a Kingpin Special 3, being Apocalypse, Rank 3, heavily boosted, and Class Man. There's no way that Special 3 would have killed me, but, you know, it's better to not, not worry about it. So, now we fight uh, this Iron Man kind of shared mini-boss fight, and I saw the uh, Chitinous Thorn, and I was like, oh crap, 
but it, it, it's only for armor buffs. So uh, if, the, if there are armor buffs, then you can get bleeds on you. But since it is uh, Iron Man doesn't get armor buffs, he gets armor passives, uh, he doesn't actually work on the node. So yeah, there's nothing to really worry about here. This has buffet, which is fine. You know, as long as we have a few incinerates with Porch, I think as long as we have like at least three, he should be fully um, heal blocks and actually even start to reversing at three, maybe. Uh, but we also have uh, resonate, so that weakness is just an extra debuff with 15% uh, increased regen reversal uh, with despair. As you can see, boom, we evade his special and he just dies from the uh, the buffet, uh, putting him into the negatives. So yeah, that fight was was neat. Uh, and then you see that man gog right there. That is the fight that I was referring to earlier and the fight that I have now. So as you can see, um, we're very boosted. Thrown on an invulnerability boost too to be, to be safe. This fight has hazard uh, shift and stun immunity. Also true focus, so you, you can't bring in a ghost or a quake or anything. So uh, with that hazard shift, it's gonna switch between incinerate and poison. And so if I hit Mangog when he has the, uh, the incinerate up, I'll get incinerate. If I hit him when he has the poison up, I'll get poisoned. Obviously Human Torch is incinerate immune because the dude's on fire, but he is not poison immune. So when that poison is up, I gotta be careful. So I'm trying to get in as many licks as I can uh, while the incinerate was up at the start. We did a pretty good job, got in 10 clean hits. Now uh, he throws a special, but the poison is still up. So I've never done this fight before, so like I'm not sure if I should just take a couple poison debuffs. Like I don't know how much damage they're gonna be doing, but I decided to just play it safe. So the incinerate comes back around, hits some clean intercepts, get six of the uh, Nova Flames going. Um, he didn't throw heavy there, so I didn't get any more. He's back up to the poison now, and I'm just stuck against the wall. I'm like, crap, you know, I gotta get out of here. So I push myself out with a special one. I get a couple poisons, but that's okay. You know, I, I have to get away from the wall. Being on the wall is not where you wanna be on a fight like this. Get against the wall again, but I evade his heavy attack against it, we're fine. And then here, he throws a special. I was planning on blocking it, but it's unblockable. So now he's unstoppable and I'm against the wall and I'm kind of panicking, but I'm trying to keep my cool. Um, just kind of trying to wait out that unstoppable. Um, I dex like every hit against the wall until he throws another special and it's unblockable. Uh, here, throw my special and he dies. Man, that was so intense. Like when, when I was in that fight, just like kind of dancing against the wall, like I thought I was dead. Like I wasn't paying attention to Mangog's health like at all. So I didn't realize that he was dying to my Nova Flames the way he was. And then I, once I threw that special, I was like, okay, I got to get out of this wall. And then he just died. And I was like, wait, he I survived? Like I was, I was kind of in disbelief. I was like, I really thought I was going to die there. That was so sketchy, man. We were just, we were quaking with torch against the wall. Just dexing, man. Ooh. Um, but in the end... It didn't matter. Uh, we did lose to them, unfortunately. We we had less total fight duration, which is uh, interesting, actually. We beat them in that. But yeah, we had 12 deaths. They only had six. So we kind of got destroyed. They only had half our deaths. Unfortunate. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of that fight. That last fight, for sure. Um, but yeah, GG to these guys. Now, if we move on to uh, these old spreadsheet here, we can take a look at where we're at now. So uh nine wars into the season where we've lost three won six of them i am 72 kills one death uh solo rate is uh 98 percent adjusted difficulty rating is uh 92 so our bonus is five that's just for like not dying you get more points the longer uh you are on like a solo streak or just more fights you solo power rating is 96 which is is pretty high for nine wars in it's first in the alliance at this point and in my battle group um 1.28 uh that's for fight difficulty if anything above 1.2 is like decently hard once you get closer to 1.30 it's pretty hard so we've taken pretty difficult fights um and so far we're at five boss kills for the season at this point all of which being mojos uh, so yeah, that's the stats so far for the season. We got three more wars left. The last two are, are really exciting. And then I think the next war, the 10th war, we fight two rank four, uh, defenders, which is pretty interesting. I think that was like, 
after the Summer of Pain stuff came in, when that was able, maybe? I don't know exactly. But yeah, rank fighting rank 4s with rank 3s are interesting, which you guys will see in the next war. I think it's the next one. That's going to do it for this war video. If you guys did enjoy that Mangog fight, I would appreciate you dropping a like for me staying alive. Subscribe if you like to see more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.